Hi, so welcome to our bonus unit, unit nine, where we'll look at the vernacular names of venomous snakes of Zimbabwe. Uh, so we'll come across a number of the snakes that we um, have already seen from units one up to unit eight. And uh, the, the, the main objective, well, by the end of uh, this unit, the participant will be able to state both the common uh, Ndebele and Shona names of the common venomous snakes which were covered or which are covered in this course. So let's move right ahead. So um, in terms of vernacular names, uh, snakes have been part of our society here in Zimbabwe, both uh, whether we be Ndebele or Shona or Tonga, you know, so over the years, we've uh, also had our own names, vernacular names that we've given to these snakes, and these are the ones that we want to explore in this uh, in this particular uh, unit. So what you find is that, um, as I shall show you, for some of the uh, snakes, like some of the cobra, the names uh, are used quite loosely and could can be interchangeable, can be used interchangeably, and sometimes it seems to also vary from uh, region uh, to region. But then for the sake of consistent, consistency and uh, in order for me to give a fairly in court uh, scientific uh, presentation with regards to the Shona, to the uh, vernacular names, what I did was I got the names of uh, the snakes that I am presenting to you in this particular presentation from the, uh, uh, from the National Museum uh, of Natural History or the Natural History Museum, which is uh, located in Vlaoy. A beautiful, one of the, it's, it's just really beautiful, a really, really beautiful museum. Uh, to me here in uh, Zimbabwe is probably the best uh, museum for me. Uh, having grown up in Vlaoy, I make it a point to frequent that museum. And unfortunately, my kids and family are forced <laughs> in courts to go and see the things which I did. They have a beautiful uh, sele selection of uh, venomous snakes, actually live ones, which they've recently put in the museum. Really beautiful place, beautiful place. I would really recommend you to go there if you're in Bulawayo. But anyway, without being lost too much, moving right on, we'll start off with the cytotoxic snakes, or, or snakes capable of uh, serious cytotoxic envenomation. The first one is the puff adder. And is in Devele, it is called Iwululu, and in Shona it is called Chiva. So Iwululu in Debele, Chiva in Shona. The next snake that uh, we'll look at, again cytotoxic in venomation, is the Gabon viper. It is called Vumbi in Shona. Vumbi. And you'll notice that there's no Ndebele name for this one. If you have been paying attention during uh, the earlier units, you'll be able to tell me the reason why there is no Ndebele name for the Gabon Viper. Moving right on, we have the third uh, cytotoxic and venoming snake, which is the Mozambique Spitting Cobra. In Ndebele, it is called Ipimpi. E -p -p. That's how you say it in Missing Devele. And then in Shona, it is called Makure. Makure. That's the name in Shona. And in Shangani, it's called Mfes. So, in the two uh, major languages, in uh, local languages in Zimbabwe, it's Ipimpi e in Missing Devele, Makure in Chishona. The next, so we saw uh, the night adders. There were two night adders that we looked at uh, in uh, um, our course. We saw the rhombic night adder, which is the one that I have here, and we also saw the snouted night adder. I could only get the name for the rhombic night adder, and it's called Chawadzi. Chawadzi. So that's what it is called in uh, the Shona language. And again, you'll notice that it does not have the Isindebele translation. And I'll leave you to figure that out as to the reason why. Uh, 
month. We've just exhausted the cytotoxic snakes. And you'll notice that the burrowing asp, I could not find the Isindevele name or the Shona name. But once I do, I'll let you know what the names are. And then next, we go to the neurotoxic uh, envenoming snakes. And the first one is the black mamba. And in Isindevele is called Ikinyambila. Ik, ik, I will say uh, I will say that one more time. So it's called Ikinyambila, Ikinyambila, and in Shishona it is called Rovambira, Rovambira. So Kinyambila in Isindebele, Rovambira in Shona. So Kinya in Debele means to swallow, Rova. In Shona means uh, to hit, and Mbira, Mbila, uh, that would be your, your your guinea pig, or related small, you know, uh, rock rabbit-like animals without uh, a tail. So, Ikinyambila, or Rovambira. Moving on, the snouted cobra now, uh, as we saw in our previous lessons, comes in two major varieties. There is the bended one, and then the other one is not bended. And um, indeed, there are different names that are used for the bended variety uh, versus the one which is not bended. So the snouted cobra, the bended variety, in Isindebele is called Ilunga, and in Shona is called Nyama Fingu. So Ilunga in Isindebele or Nyama Fingu in Shona. But like I said earlier, you know, these terms are not really uh, hard and fast, and sometimes they are used interchangeably, even with a variety which is not uh, bended. So that's the snouted cobra. I have a variety which is not bended, and sometimes they come much darker than this. In Isindebele, it is called Iloyi, and in Shona, it's called Mungu. So Iloyi in Isindebele, Mungu in Shona. And this is really the same species with the one that we saw before, um, so that the earlier one was the bended version of it. Uh, so we have the green mamba. Uh, so this one, the name I did not get from the, uh, uh, the, the museum, but I did my own research to try and find it. And uh, the common Shona name is uh, Bopamupani. I'll say it again, Bopamupani. And as you can see, there's no S in Debele name. So if you can figure out what's common amongst the three uh, snakes that we have seen that have no S in Debele names, then you'll know why there isn't a name in S in Debele. So those are the neurotoxics. So moving on to, <laughs> in quotes, the bleeders or the ones that make you bleed, the hemorrhagic envenoming snakes. The first one uh, is the boomslang, and in Isindebele is called Inlonlo. I'll say it again, Inlonlo. And then in Shona, it's called Mbadza o Mangara. So it's Mbadza o Mangara. Mbadza o Mangara. That's your boomslang. Snake that uh, I have in these slides is the savannah twig snake, another hemorrhagic envenoming snake. In Isindebele, it's called Ikoti Koti, Ikoti Koti, and then in Shona, it's called Kangamiti or Rukukutwe. So it's Kangamiti or Rukukutwe. Snakes so, that are the venomous snakes that I could get vernacular names to, which covers, I think, the bulk of uh, the snakes that we went through, uh, which are of medically of medical importance. So um, it's quiz time. Let's see how much of this information you've managed to get. And I hope you enjoyed the course. I enjoyed it, uh, being with you so much. And until we meet next time, this is Prof. Toxin, Dexter Tagure saying goodbye. Love you all.